Yeah, hi, I'm Warren Overton, and uh, so I've been talking about um, how we can move from just a technological fix for our cities to actually looking at what our community structures are, our, um, our buildings and our cities. I mean, they reflect who we are and what we want to be. We've been focusing on technological fixes, and in fact, we've, we've had the approaches for many, many years. So what our focus is on is looking at how can we shape communities, how can we shape uh, the way we build and the way we actually live in our cities to make them sustainable. Hi, Paul Downton. I believe that uh, Bill McKibben is right that we no longer live on the same planet that I was born into, and it's time we recognised that reality and started dealing with the new conditions of this planet. That means doing something urgently about the way we make and shape our cities, the habitats where we create this ecology which has to be part of a living biosphere. I think it's an exciting task, but it's incredibly urgent, and that's what we're talking about here. I'm Janice Berklin, and my area of interest is how can cities and buildings and environments actually be truly sustainable. If they're going to be sustainable, they have to actually reduce the impacts of existing environments, not just do less harm in the future. Uh, we've already lost a third of our species, uh, our third of our world's Human population is malnourished or even starving without electricity or adequate water. So cities are a big factor in all those issues. And if we're going to move towards a sustainable city, it's got to actually increase the ecological base or life support system. It cannot continue just to draw resources and wealth from the regions. It has to give back to nature more than it takes. And I believe that's possible, but we need a completely different form of design. I call it positive development. That's development that actually increases the ecological base and the public estate beyond what was there originally. Hi, um, my name's Marcy Webster Manison. I'm going to be talking about um, how natural um, features and systems in our environment can help us shape our cities to be um, better places to live and uh, that we can be better people that live in them as well. Uh, how we do this, uh, you'll have to watch my talk and find out, but uh, it really revolves around um, looking at the sort of environmental history, the social meaning of um, our past and, and using that to inform how we shape our future. 